Greetings, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will tell you about the seventh portion starts in vivified structure in the star journey, lower decks course of events. Brad Boimler, Jack Quaid, is amped up for visiting a notable entry, which Skipper Pike and his group found quite a while back. Beckett Sailor, Brownish Newsome, is driving the mission, yet she is not even close as excited. While visiting the antiquated entryway, group mate D. Van Attendee, Noel Wells, squabbles with Brad over who found the gadget first. She trusts that her predecessors, the Oreans, were the genuine pioneers. Then Sam Rutherford, Eugene Cordero, nerds out and snaps a photo of the gateway. This enlivens the entrance, and Brad is consequently brought into the gadget. He reappears in the star journey. Odd new universe's course of events, coming into contact with Spock, Una, and Lanin. Subsequent to meeting his legends, Brad drops. Watchers are then treated to an extraordinary, energized rendition of the show's initial credits. Brad has voyaged 120 years into the past and has currently installed the U.S. undertaking. Lan goes through the time-traveling rules with Brad, as she is somewhat of a specialist on these issues. Before proceed with I demand you to buy in our feed and push on the ringer symbol button for new recordings notices on time. Brad can't impede previous occasions, he can't share information on the future and Lan includes an individual proviso, Brad shouldn't get connected. Obviously, he will defy these norms during the episode. While Brad will meet his different legends, Orion privateers close in on the undertaking. Brad urges Pike and the team not to assault, expressing that this is a tranquil science vessel. Pike follows Brad's requests, yet the Orions take the gateway at any rate. Brad assists Pike's group with following the Orions. They arrange an arrangement for the entrance. Brad plans to rejoin with his own group by going through the entry on a bring venture back. Similarly, as the entrance kicks right into it, Beckett Sailor comes flying out of the opposite end. The entry then, at that point, closes shut. The Endeavor currently has double cross explorers and no chance of reactivating the entrance. Beckett assists Uvhura with interpreting the glyphs on the entry, however, this is an impasse. In the meantime, Brad helps Spock. During this communication, Spock sorts out his conceivable destiny with Christine. This conversation prompts an acknowledgement. The item they need to restart the entrance can be found in the NX-01 starship. A piece of that noteworthy boat is likewise found installed the Endeavor. They utilize this to enact the entry again. Prior to getting back to their time devil, Brad and Beckett let Yuna know how she propelled them to join the Starfleet, with her picture being utilized as special material for enrollment. Luna is astonished by this disclosure. Pike and his group process to the entrance. However, the Orians are hanging tight for them there. Pike figures out an arrangement on the off chance that the Orians let him utilize the entryway. They will say that the Orion researchers found it first. The Orions consent to these terms. Brad and Beckett then, at that point, return to their timetable. The hybrid episode closes with the star journey. Odd new universes cast mingling together in two-layered structure. They share Orion liquor and kid about. While Pike thanks the group for his impromptu get-together, which he stayed close by for. It's a fitting end, the surprisingly realistic characters presently in energized structure. Gratitude for observing kindly like, offer, and give input.